Hi, welcome. This is Alex QT, and we're not going to talk about that, but we're going to film on it so you can see what it looks like. Now, it's that time of the month where we make a video how to keep on rolling. If we want to keep rolling, then we are going from the June version to the July version. Now, in the meantime, surely you've done all that, but uh, here's the video anyway. Super F7, we're gonna move this guy over here, adding my template to the system, cloning it. So this is gonna be Arch Linux. The version, um, I think 19.06, I don't know, the minor version. So this one, we need to get that one. So let's see what Google does seat host that's all I know Arch Linux we get this we get that here it is bike seat host it used to be master it's now bike that's what we need to remember here is the ISO from previous month and this is the ISO that's coming up you can beta test it right now and we are going to get a version from June 9061 it seems to be the minor version and we're getting that under one minute's time so download is pretty good here doesn't show the speed but you see it's quite fast I'm gonna put this in our system let's uh, recapitulate what's important for our settings so it's in the video as well these are the things that I set. It's up to you to decide if that's okay. I've got done a little bit less than eight. So normally I give 50-50. I'm gonna uh, try out this setting. Processors, yes, 50-50. Enable PA and X, right. This is untouched. Display, full out for the display, so not 50-50. Trying out this new setting. And this is very important. You should set VBOX VG. Whatever you do, you set this one, all right? and then enable 3D and that's all I've done. So some minor changes and we'll test it out. That's what you do also, just test it out. Is it in? It's in. So optical drive, choose disk image. Um, that's not it. Downloads that one, double click and we're off of course on the other screen. Like so. And that and then control F and there we are on screen one putting as you see uh, we get all these messages so you don't want to see it read it and click away I'm not used anymore to this pop-up um, at you'll see at the next release you'll have more lines available that's just an attempt to help people out to get different kind of uh, boot um, options and always change the boot options with a tap or an E and sometimes you need to type something behind here like something uh, technical of course this is not gonna work but you Google what you need for your particular hardware and maybe with ACPI stuff or stuff like that off it's gonna work again for you so it's always editable changeable that's what I wanted to share so we'll see in the July version, you have more options there. So we're going to install the June version and then update to the July version. That's basically the video always every month, how to keep rolling. Let's take a look at the version. So we are at 3.2.8 at that point in time. Now, these days, 3.2.10. Installing, by the way, a very good tip indeed. If you have issues with the last version of the month, then you just go back a month earlier or two months earlier, or even go back to December last year. I mean, it's still Arch Linux, it's still an update you do, and you have the same Arch Linux version. And then you can start figuring out why you don't have issues, probably hardware, right? Always. And the drivers for them. So let's pause the video here 
uh, because it's gonna take the time it takes, right, to install it. And we're off again. So restart now, done. Maximalizing it again, Control F. Still a part here visible, now it's gone. Uh, boot existing OS and booting up. So we're back a month ago with a systemd of that time, a kernel of that time, Control T, and we have 1906.1, 5.1.2. Definitely getting another wallpaper, that's better. And then um, we're going to update everything. So when you're on Arconix, this is the link you want to visit because it shows you what Arconix is about. It goes to the main site, the information site where everything is communicated in general, right? Not about XFCE or I3 or LXQT, but the general information. 310 updates, right? So go and have a look here. If you want to join us on Discord, down there, there's a link here, Discord, an invitation link. So anybody that uh, has Discord is invited and you don't need an application for it. It's actually also a browser thing. Just go there and then make an account and then use the invitation link, login. Okay, so um, information wise, what do you can follow, but not um, don't need to follow it, but you can follow the evolutions in between versions. Arcanix beta is going is actually for our beta testers saying saying okay this and that has changed um, and we have didn't done this and done that. So this is the content for another video. What changed from June to July, right? So that's all in here. You can always follow it because we need to communicate with our beta testers anyway anybody can see it it's just open transparent and everybody knows okay so that's that but updating is just simple update if you type this we have Arco Linux and Arch Linux I see some errors in there so let's take a look the Arco Linux repo from master Cthost. Um we have changed we have changed from server so Everybody has gone through the process, but this PC has not, right? So we need to tell them, forget about this, this wrong URL and get the new one in. So sudo pacman minus s, article Linux mirror list. Where is our software? That's there, right? So if we install that one and do this again, update. He knows now where our software is. I just said it in the video. Uh, we can scroll a little bit higher. Master, right? Remember, bike. So master is the old thing. We moved to an, we, we actually improved our um, service to a faster and, and more disk space, more bandwidth kind of service. I mean, we improved, thanks you to your uh, donations, I might add. We decided to say, okay, let's move on to something bigger, better, right? Faster. So the system needs to know. So a new mirrorless guy, it's not master anymore. It's called bike, fine. And then it gets, uh, well, it doesn't provide any errors. He finds everything. And then all the rest, a lot of stuff is coming from Arch Linux. Where do we come in? We come in in this elements here. This is us. Right, and all the rest is arch. So fine, you go scroll down and you say yes. And then everything is going to be installed, but there maybe I put it on pause here. While it's doing its thing, maybe we should check out um, the post about seat hosts. I've been written some posts already. Migrating to a higher performing server. So this master and bike thing has been communicated in the past June the 5th. We went from an SH6 to an SH3, so better, more expensive, but more traffic. Uh, connection speed is the same. Disk space is doubled. So yeah, 
we have Im improved our uh, here it is increase of 200 percent increase of 150 percent so we hope we can provide you with uh, a better service that way so that's what happened and that's why we changed had to change from bike where it says here bike to uh well from master to bike okay so if we click this this is where our repos are and our github is our failback or our backup all right that's about the server let's wait for the installation all right it's installed i'm scrolling back up to see what's happened if there are things in there that mention a skull then i'm gonna remember the alias which is of course skull and here we see some lines so the article Linux xfc tuner package has written something in a particular place on your system and it's never gonna be used unless you do something so all these scal things and there's a bunch of it is written in the etc scal so basically there is this alias it's called scal and it's gonna, gonna copy paste over everything that's inside that particular folder to your home directory mind you it will overwrite everything but in this case that's what we want we want to update the new stuff this might be a monthly thing a weekly thing it's up to you there are other commands that are interesting aliases that uh, you might want to have a look at like the backup scale and if you do it once and twice and weekly then you can compare between one backup scale and the other one so i have done it twice now super shift return Control h and i have two of them and if this one is from last week and this is from now then i say compare and i look at the difference then i know exactly what's been changed on my machine if you want to keep your own configs well at some point in time you're happy with your configuration Control c Control v is a very simple thing copy paste right and then you can actually also compare what's new what did skill scale bring this command scale what did it bring and what's the difference so we have here just one difference because of the fact that i've downloaded a new wallpaper i would like to see that wallpaper so wallpaper selector the hobbit what's this is this the hobbit might be now nah, this this one right so close and we have a new wallpaper thanks to variety so that's how to proceed but that's one thing we've done an update from Arch Linux and Arch Linux um, let's do PKSYUA as the AOR so if we do first update and then this one the only thing we'll see and it's not the only thing that's a lot in one month's time breeze cursor has been updated menu libre has been updated that's this thing edit applications that's menu libre that this one and then new mix circle icon theme that's my responsibility i'm the maintainer for that one that has been updated pamac a warn time shift treason treason Vivaldi in the codex all looks good so these guys were updated the only thing you have to do is sit back and wait if there are errors it's just not our responsibility it is the responsibility of the maintainers on AOR which is Arch user repository it's people like you and me who make a package build and that keep that um, well up to date so he's installing fine what can we do in the meantime in the meantime we should also check one particular folder to keep you rolling to stay rolling we have these folders and we need to go from version of june right Control t 1906 it says june we know she should go and have a look at maybe look first and install later to see what's in there And it says that there is a fix here adding the current user to the group rf kill in order to be able to switch blueberry on and off now i can't show you that but i can go out of this Control f and i can show you on my lxqt so this window here is um it's not possible to click it on and off 
on a version of June because of a ver of a switch in settings that um, Arch Linux has and Linux Mint doesn't have because it, this is coming. The software package is coming from Linux Mint. You hear me correctly, right? This um, is this still open? No, closed it already again. So this thing, blueberry thing, is coming from Linux Mint, and there this the issue has been reported, and the solution is to actually make sure that you, Eric, the user, is uh, part of a group. That's it. Just that and the change in release. Voila. So I need to run this one. Okay, done. Control T and we have now version 1907.9 .9. and we're up and running. We've done everything as long as this guy, but he's still updating, uh, but he'll just finish long. Can't think of anything else really. We've done everything we need to do. We're rolling. This is normal. It really doesn't like if you are updating things. If you reboot, of course, everything is fine. He's installing, so that's why it looked like that. And everything is fine again. So, like I said, can't really think of anything else to tell. Um, it's updating, it's doing its thing, and we'll have just have to wait and now have a rolling system. So there's no need to do a clean install. We'll always support you with videos like these just to keep on going and um, going forward. But at some point in time when you made some errors or you did something uh, wrong on your system, there's always an ISO gonna be there to do a clean install. All right, cheers, have fun.